Compensation module. This module will help you to generate your increments. You can also use this module to allocate or revert assets to employees. Let's see how this module works. Click on Compensation Master to select employees based on their eligibility. If an employee is eligible to get a facility or an increment, click the checkbox and save the form. The names in the increment report will appear if the eligibility is ticked yes. This way you can save the compensation master or the eligibility criteria level wise and grade wise for all employees. Master, to show you how you can add or create a master for your facilities and further how you can allocate or revert this facility. You can create a broad category such as laptop, mobile, house, etc. And further create subcategories as within laptop you can add the brand name like Acer, Dell, Apple, etc. Under mobile you can add Nokia, BPL, etc. So now we move on to the facility master where under category laptop, under subcategory Dell, you can actually add the laptop configuration or the serial number. And this is how you can add all the physical assets that you might be giving to your employees. Each facility will have a unique facility code and this will be used at the time of allocation or revert of the facility. Once you have saved all the assets under facility master, you can know from the status whether it is available or allocated to someone. Now let's see how we can allocate a facility. Select the employee whom you want to allocate and then select the category and the subcategory to open your facility master. To allocate, click on the checkbox on the left hand side. Cube picks up automatically the name of the logged in user under header recommended by and allotted by. You can change the date and put your remarks and save the form. As soon as you save the form, an intimation mail goes to the employee that facility has been allocated. The status in the facility master also gets updated as facility allocated but not received. And as soon as the employee clicks on receives, the status gets updated as facility allocated and received. So this way you can manage all the facilities and even pull out the report facility allot or revert report. To pull out report, you need to click on facility allot or revert report. Select the employee for whom you want to generate this report and click on show. So this way for each and every employee you can pull out the report to see which all facilities which have been allocated to that employee. Now let's see how we can generate the increment report. Before we generate the increment report, we need to set the criteria for increments. You can set the increment criteria level wise, grade wise and for every appraisal period. The compensation module is linked with the performance management module. So here you can define the criteria such that if an employee's rating in the PMS falls between the range minimum percentage to the maximum percentage, then what amount of increment to be given? And this way you can set the criteria for every level and every grade and accordingly the increment report will be pulled out. The increment report gets generated based on the criteria that you define in the increment criteria master and the employee's rating as the employee gets in the PMS. To generate the increment report, you must first save the compensation master that is your eligibility the increment criteria master that is the range and complete your final review in the performance management module. Once you have completed all the above three, you can generate the increment report. This report is generated department wise. You need to select the appraisal period and click on show. Thanks for watching.